Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about these holes that you probably commonly see on different electrical plugs. I'll be answering the specific question of why do electrical plugs have holes in them? And I'll be giving you a full explanation. Now, as far as I know, based on the research that I've done, there are three main reasons. Now, like I said, I don't make electrical plugs, so I can't tell you the exact reasoning and whether it's 100% truthful or not, but based on the research that I've done, this is the best explanation that I could find. And it's a three part explanation. The first reason is to hold the plug firmly in the outlet. And that's because in most places where you find these electrical plugs inside the outlet, there's gonna be these little bumpers that hold the plug in place. And you'll know that sometimes when you plug something into an electrical outlet, sometimes it comes out super easily. And that plug likely doesn't have these holes in it. So these holes serve a purpose of sort of keeping it in place. And if you wanna remove it, you can pull it out, but it takes just a tiny bit of force. It's not gonna simply like slip out of there. So it serves as a holding feature to sort of make sure that the plug is nice and securely in the electrical outlet. That's the first reason. The second reason you might have actually come across whenever you've purchased a specific product, but is so they can uh, put something through these prongs, okay? So if you take a look, there's these holes here and you can put, for instance, a tiny padlock through the prongs um, and lock it so that no one can use that electrical plug until they unlock the padlock and remove it. In addition, you can attach a warning to the electrical prongs. So I've purchased a product before, a few products, but one that comes to mind specifically was a, a portable heater that I purchased. And with the portable heater was a plug and on the plug, there was a little uh, a zip tie, like a wrap through there, and attached to the zip tie was a warning label. And basically, you had to read the warning label before you could attach, unattach the zip tie and then plug it in. So it's an easy way for manufacturers to attach some sort of warning label, and they know that you've um, seen the warning label and hopefully addressed the warning label before you plug it in, okay? The third reason, and this one there's been a lot of debate about based on what I was reading, um, because some people are saying that it's true and some people are saying that it's not true, but I think there has to be a little bit of truth to it at least, is that there is a little bit of cost savings because if you look at the amount of metal that is required to make the prong, you know, this is a decent percentage of metal that has been removed from the middle. I don't know what percentage it equals out to, but it's probably like 20% of the metal less when you have that hole there, which is a 20% cost savings in the metal over here. Now, yes, there is a, an additional cost to maybe make that hole, but um, I would think that the cost to make the hole is less than the savings of actually removing that um, small amount of metal in each prong. So I think that overall there still is a cost savings. I don't know what cost savings it is, but I can imagine that if you're making you know, uh, thousands or tens of thousands or I don't know, millions of plugs a year, you're probably gonna save quite a bit of money on uh, material costs if you have, if you're using, you know, a certain percentage less metal. So I believe that there is a little bit of truth to that, although I think that's an added bonus of this feature. I don't think that's the main reason why. Um, and in addition, um, the last sort of bonus reason, uh, I would call this the fourth, but it's not really a fully fourth reason, is that it's not a full fourth reason, it's just an add-on like uh, like the other ones, some of the other ones were. But basically it's because we're used to seeing these holes in the prongs. You know, many, many years ago, they started using these holes in the prongs and I'm sure they could figure out a different way to make plugs just as effectively now. But when we see a plug, we're used to seeing these holes. So it's just like when you see a plug, you're used to seeing the holes. If there's no holes in the prongs, you're gonna wonder what's wrong with it or what's different with it. So we're just used to seeing it. So I think they continue doing it. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.